Disassembly tips. Ensure that you take the following precautions when disassembling a unit. Label each cable as you remove it, noting its position and routing. This will make replacing the cables much easier and will ensure that the cables are rerouted properly. Keep all screws with the component removed, if applicable. The screws used in each component can be of different thread sizes and lengths. Using the wrong screw in a component could damage the unit. If the unit contains light-sensitive components such as motherboard, memory module, CPU, hard disk drive, graphic card store the component in its original ESD packaging to avoid damage. Please read the description below for more details about tools used to removal and replacement, static electricity. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the system board. Carefully lift up the right edge of the solid state drive to separate it from the thermal pad and allow it to raise to the spring tension position. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot on the system board. Gently insert the solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Press the solid state drive down onto the thermal pad and replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures it to the system board. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.